Welcome to the He's Got Issues Independent Comics Edition number 154.3. I'm John Cooney here to preview new independent comics being released December 31st, 2014. Happy New Year, everybody. There's just a few books out this week, and we'll go through them alphabetically as usual, starting with Boom Studios and Abigail and the Snowman number one of four. Why we love it, from his acclaimed run on the Muppet Show comic book to his beloved Thor the Mighty Avenger, Roger Langridge has earned a reputation for telling classic all-ages stories filled with heart and humor. After working with Roger on Jim Henson's The Musical Monsters of Turkey Hollow, we couldn't wait to set him loose on his first creator-owned series since the Eisner Award-winning snark. The fact that there are yetis in this only makes us even more confident Roger's latest is going to be something special. Why you'll love it? The story of an imaginative young girl who befriends a sophisticated yeti is perfect for fans of all-ages classics like Monsters, Inc. and Lilo and Stitch, while Roger's fun, often hilarious art will be admired by fans who grew up on Calvin and Hobbes. What it's about? Abigail is a nine-year-old girl with a huge imagination who moves to a small town where she's the new kid at school, struggling to make friends. All that changes when she meets a yeti named Claude who has escaped a top-secret government facility. Abigail and Claude become the best of friends, but to make sure he can truly be free from the shadow men chasing him, they must go on an adventure to find Claude's real home. From Dark Horse Comics, we've got the massive Volume 4 Sahara trade paperback. Callum Israel and the crew of the Capitol face Arcady, Israel's former colleague bent on revenge. When the Capitol is bombed, Callum and Mag head into post-crash Europe to confront Arcady, but what they ultimately discover may lead them to their long-lost ship, the Massive. Meanwhile, Mary appears in the Sahara Desert, guiding a convoy of fresh water, holding a secret that might unravel Callum for good. Collects issues number 19 through 24. And we've also got X Volume 4 Better Off Dead trade paperback. Tango's gang war was a handful, but the Akron and his army, the Chosen, are more powerful than any enemy X has ever faced. Betrayed or abandoned by his allies, X must face Arcadia's newest threat the old-fashioned way, alone. Collects issues 13 through 16. From IDW Publishing, we've got Star Trek Planet of the Apes number one of five. It's the crossover nobody ever expected. Star Trek, the hope for the best of mankind's future. Planet of the Apes, a chilling look at the fall of humanity. How could these worlds possibly collide? What could possibly cause Captain Kirk and the crew of the Enterprise to side with Dr. Zaius and protect Ape City? And what does Colonel George Taylor have to say about it? It's a madhouse. A madhouse. From Image Comics, we've got East of West number 16. The Apocalypse Year 2 begins in the oversized East of West number 16. Following the dramatic conclusion of Year 1, the Great Beast now roams the fractured United States of America. Deep into an all-consuming war between the splintered nations, the four horsemen move to further their individual agendas while resisting the inevitability of the message. And we've got Witches number 1, Image First, $1 edition. Across the globe, century after century, men and women were burned, drowned, hanged, tortured, imprisoned, persecuted, and murdered for witchcraft. None of them were witches. They died protecting a terrible and hidden truth. Witches, real witches, are out there. They are ancient, elusive, and deadly creatures that are rarely seen and even more rarely survived. And from Valiant Entertainment, we've got Exo Manowar number 31, Armorines Attack. Eric of Dacia has laid waste to entire planets and defeated the universe's most skilled hunters, but how can he kill what he can't see? A strange new foe with a fiendishly familiar leader has unleashed a relentless offensive on Eric of Dacia, and he doesn't even know it yet. Be here for the deadliest foe Exo Manowar has battled yet, as the Armorines continue their march toward Eric's destruction. Okay, so that's a look at the top independent publishers this week, but there's still a few other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and DC videos for this week, as well as my usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.